Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Get Real. Get Real. Get Real. Get Real. Hosted by me, Peniel of B2B. Yeah, and me, BM from Card. And me, Ashley Choi. Alright, yes. On Get Real, uh, we get honest about all the ups and downs of young adulthood but from our perspective. And our today… Perspective. Yes. And today we have… Juni in the house. Yeah, Juni. Guys, in the welcome, house. welcome, welcome. Thank welcome. you for having me. All right, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but what's it called in today's episode? We are going to be talking about our twenties. Oh. Traditionally, our twenties were seen as a time for us to explore and try as many things as possible, while still having the freedom and energy to do so. Others consider our twenties as a defining decade, where. Um, what we do in this time will significantly impact the rest of our lives. Mm. So, yeah. So, where do we stand in all of this as 20-somethings currently? You guys are still in your 20s, right? Yes. Yes. Thankfully. I'm in the yes. last couple of years. I am, I'm in my yeah. last in Korea, year. You in your last year. In Korea, <laughs> you guys aren't 20 anymore. Yeah. No, in we 30. 20s, right? Wow. All right. Quiet. <laughs> all right. Anyways, yeah. yes. If you want to interact with us on our socials, uh, follow us on… Uh, at the Dive Studios or leave us a comment on our full episode videos at youtube.com slash divepods will be, uh, that will be uploaded a few days after the audio release. All yes. right. Also, subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Leave a good review. Five-star reviews only on Apple Podcasts. Five so many, stars. Yes, yes. So many people can know about this awesome show and join in on the fun. All right. Super awesome. Let's get going then. Oh wait, what? That was the only introdu- introduction for Juni? Well, we'll ke- we can have him introduce himself. Yeah. Right? Okay, yes. Can you introduce yourself a little bit, please? Yeah, for sure. Um, hey guys, what's up? I, my name is Juni. Uh-huh. I'm a singer, songwriter. Mm-hmm. And uh, I came to Korea two years ago. Two years? Oh, that's it? Yeah, okay. it's been two years. Um, met from where? From Vancouver. Ooh. From Ooh. Canada. You guys, Sorry. Have you guys been? <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been there. I've been to Vancouver Sorry. before. It's cold out there. You guys it got is. cold weather. Is it? Wait, is that Toronto? I think Toronto. Okay, Toronto's Vancouver is a little cold. warmer, huh? Yeah, it's a little okay, warmer. Okay. It just rains in Vancouver. Oh. Yeah, it's nice yeah. though. I remember everyone is just so damn nice. Like Oh ev- yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they did nothing wrong. I was <laughs> I was with my tour staff and like they would do nothing wrong. I would just ask for something and the first thing would, they would say is like, oh sorry. And then yeah, they would yeah, yeah. Oh, they would bring it. I'd be sorry like, Sorry oh. is like the first thing you say. Yeah. Really? yeah you I'll start say- with sorry and then or excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Also, why are you sorry? Do you guys say sorry too? I think it's sorry. Oh. I say sorry. sorry. Who says sorry? sorry? We had that it's conversation sorry. about the pronunciation. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, on right? on the radio show, I was oh, like really? asking him about, about Canadian accent because yeah. one of my guests is uh, uh, Canadian too, and she swears Canadian, Canadian, <laughs> Canadian. Canadian and she from? swears, <laughs> <laughs> and she swears that they pronounce like lag as leg and bag right. as bag. Yeah. So I needed to confirm with him. So but now he how said, do you pronounce oh, no. bagel? Bagel? <laughs> no, I'm sure it's just bagel. bagel. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyways. Interesting. Okay. Anyways, for, so Juni from Vancouver. Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Been in Korea for two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dang, bro. Um, let's talk a little bit about your music career. When you when yeah. you start music? Um, I started like legit started um in Canada, and then for like a year I was doing that mm-hmm. and then just working independently. Word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how it is overseas. Like you can just distribute your music. Yeah, Super yeah, yeah. Easily. It's much free out there. Yeah. Much more free so, out there. Yeah. I didn't know so, that. Me neither. Dang. I was doing that and then, you know, having a part-time job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah doing the night shifts and stuff. And then um, I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna… Go to Korea. Yeah, go to Korea. Alright, alright. Yeah. Was there any certain um, thing that made you decide to want to move to Korea? Or? Um, Man, I mean like I always liked Korean music. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I always listened to Korean music ever since I was young. Okay. But then, you know, like… Uh, constantly just like making new music and then I realized I found myself like copying more… Being, in, being influenced more by Korean artists rather than… Mm. American artists. Yeah, American mm. artists. Okay, okay, okay. But then it wasn't like a choice. It was just natural to me. Right, right. right. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then I realized, hey, you know what? Since I can speak English mm-hmm. and I'm from overseas, maybe if I go to Korea… I'll have like a better opportunity. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like mm. you, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard for plus. Asians to like kind of do make it up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Make it in the I music feel that, scene especially if the scene isn't as big. I mean, mm. Vancouver is like isn't really known for 
music. music. So I, I decided… It was it was either LA or Toronto or… True oh, that, true that. But then so. I was… Because I, ha- I didn't have anyone that I knew like in LA or Toronto. Mm-hmm. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go to Korea. Mm-hmm. And then just figure myself out. And Take then, my chance. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Been grinding ever since, huh? Yeah. All right. You're also part of a crew… Offshore that yeah, consists yeah, yeah. of Korean artists too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Offshore is yeah. pretty big, bro. Yeah, J- <laughs> yeah, JB. Um, yeah, he's, he goes by the name Def. We have mm. uh, Royal Dive. Um, we have I Iwak. He's like a songwriter that's… He's been in the scene for a long time. Word, he's, been, word. he's been writing a lot of songs. Word, word, in the K-pop word. industry. Mm-hmm. And then… Um, yeah, just a bunch of dudes. <laughs> Killing it in yeah, the game. Yeah, but I haven't seen him in so long. Oh, really? it's, oh it's I didn't know uh, JB was in a, in a crew. <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah, he's a he's a talented producer as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I I know he produces like a lot of uh, God Seven stuff these days. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He's been doing that for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Dope. Yeah. All right. It also right. says um you've produced for a pretty big name artist ah. as well. And back in eighteen, lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, this year. I mean, not, not this year. Last year, twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Um. I got a chance to work with a lot of SM artists. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, and I… Uh, That's a paycheck, bro. <laughs> 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 That's a decent paycheck. <laughs> that is a decent paycheck. Yeah, it's not, yeah, I mean… I got really lucky and I, I met the right people and just… You know, somehow I'm here doing this with mm. you guys. All right. Yeah. Michelle, well, you know Super what they humble. say. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, luck usually follows skill. You know, mm. so… Mm. You just, you you've been doing the grind, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They say That's luck is actually. Hold on, let me think again. <laughs> hold on. What did they say? <laughs> hold on. Let me think. Oh, they said that luck is actually when preparation meets opportunity. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. They said that's luck. Absolutely. I think this is a. Perfect time to get into now. Okay. Twenties, bro. Twenties, right? Yes. That's what we were talking about. For um, life. How old are you, Jenny? I'm yeah. twenty. So. Like American age International or age. Yeah. Um, 25. Okay. I'm turning 25. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. How old are you, Daniel? Internationally, 20. I am. 26. Hold on. 27. 27. 27. Oh, right. Yeah. Two years apart. 93. Yeah. Oh, 93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 95. So I'm 26. 26. And then, yeah, my birthday hasn't passed yet, so I'm not 28. You're yeah, you're 28 this You're turning 28 this yeah. year. I'm turning 29 this year. I'm turning. 30 this hey, year. Oh, okay. 30, 30. I just turned 29, okay? My birthday's in November. So I just oh, turned 29. Baby, yeah. yeah. I, you're a late baby. I could have okay. almost been yeah. your age. I could have almost we're been couple- a 92 baby. <laughs> we're a couple months apart. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we're not. Why do you sound like you, you don't want to be 92? No, I do want to be in Oh, you do want him? Yeah. Oh. It sounded like you were like, Oh, thank goodness I was born a few months earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded like that. <laughs> yeah. No. Like, I could have been a 92 baby. I, oh my I god. Mean, two months later, if I was born two months all later. All right, all right. So, anyways, yes, okay. Mm. Two months. All right. Yeah. 20. I'm the you're oldest? Gonna, you're yeah. the oldest. You don't look, you don't look <laughs> the you're oldest. You're the Nuna. Yeah, you don't look the oldest. All right. Then call me Nuna. All right, Emo. Ooh, all right, Emo. <laughs> all right. Damn, <laughs> you said you were a spot like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, we're all in our twenties except for one person, uh, and uh, huh? Ooh. What? I don't know. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, we're all still in our twenties, right? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Anyways, international age at least, and uh, yes, um, it gets a little confusing when you bring in Korean. You need age to get rid the, of that. Yeah. Like, why so, do I have to say I'm 31 in Korea? I'm 31 now because cause it's the new year. Even though I'm 29 oh, yeah, international oh, age. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I've never heard like the official answer for why they count the year you're in your mom's womb. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's starting from when you… No, it's like when like you're, you're born, one. you're one. It's like year one. Yeah, like, you're, <laughs> you're a fetus, that's level one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. I yeah. guess. I it was know. a trip. Like when I came to Korea, I uh, gained two years. You yeah. Know what I mean? oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't pass yet, so yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Like, yeah. It felt weird. To yeah. Me. Oh, yeah. so for you, you were born, you were one, and then two months later, you were two. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially for like November yeah. babies or like December yeah. babies. It's yeah. So yeah. unfair. Because in Korea, I mean, they do celebrate birthdays, but uh, age, they pretty much it's just as soon as it's the new year, mm-hmm. yeah. you're just a year older in Korea. Yeah. So you eat the tteokguk and you get one year older. That's yeah. why I haven't eaten tteokguk in years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still 17. <laughs> 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 but yeah, anyways, um, yeah. So what did you guys think your 20s would be like? I mean, you're still 
Mm-hmm. You're in, you're like mid twenties yeah. still. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, yes. What did you think your twenties <laughs> would be like, or what do you think the rest of your twenties will be like uh, when you were younger, or what do you think it will be like? And uh, yes, <laughs> and when you saw older people when you were younger, mm. what did you think? I honestly thought I would be married by like twenty six, and I thought I would just well. be a housewife and have kids because <laughs> uh-huh. that's my mom got married at twenty three, and she had me right away. So Damn. I just thought Damn. that that was normal, but then but I, I yeah, well, like a long time ago, I feel like they got married a lot earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah my mom was twenty one. Yeah, when she had you or yeah. got married? When she had me. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, dude. I think I like look at my tongzengs nowadays that are like even 23 or even your age, 25. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, damn, like… Imagine you having a baby right now. Exactly. I cannot hold that type of responsibility in my life. I no, know. sir. Yeah. Not right I, now. I, my kid would be six right now if I got married at my mom's age. Dang. <sighs> Can you imagine me with the six-year-old? You would be a real emo then. <laughs> real emo. <laughs> <laughs> For our listeners, emo means auntie, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. you call like, uh, <laughs> like that that point in between lady and like grandma, old, grandma, I guess. Like old woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's like I don't know. You call like your mom's friends like emo, emo yeah, 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 too. So yeah. it's just like, but yeah. Anyways, I th- I'm sorry. I think I cut you off. You were saying. I don't remember anymore. She was uh, saying I'm not I don't remember anymore. either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your your mom got married at 23 and then you thought that was normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like… And I liked having a young mom and I kind of wanted to be a young mom. So I was like, I'm going to get married at like 25, 26. And that seemed possible back then when I was like in high school because mm. it seems so far away. Mm. But now I'm like yeah. 29. Yeah. I'm like, nope. I still no. don't have plans on getting married anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. I always wonder like… Because my mom had me when she was 20. And like… I, I, I think back to how much did she think she had her life set up when mm. she had me in her stomach. You know? Right, so it was like… Because right. I think even now… If I have a baby now… I don't have my life set up enough to the point where I can like support a baby right now. Mm-hmm. I might, you know, mm-hmm. if it happened, I probably would somehow. But it's just yeah. like… That amount of stress just thinking about it… Shit. Power to our parents, man. Respect to our yeah, parents. Dude. Yeah. But I think before, they didn't think too much about… Like, do I have my life together? It just kind of happened. <laughs> no, I, no, I agree. I agree. Oops. I agree. Yeah. Like, like, now like we, we were, think too much. Now yeah. we're like, oh my god, we need to be stable enough. Oh, okay. We need to be yeah. financially okay enough to raise kids. But back then, it was like normal. Just get married, have, have kids. kids. Okay. Yeah. I thought you I thought you were implying that we were all accidents. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, we so we could have been that we too. Yeah, been. That's okay. I might be. I'm six years younger than my older sister. Oops. Or, okay. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm seven and eleven years apart from my brothers. Whoa. <gasps> Whoops. Yeah. They're all older, right? Yeah. Wow. But my mom had my oldest brother when she was like twenty three. Damn. Yeah. Oh okay. my god. So you guys both have two brothers, but you're the oldest and oh, you're really? the youngest. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm the, two younger brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm oh, I'm, wow. I'm way young. Yeah. So. Nice. Do they yeah. baby you like crazy? No, it's like, um, but then the good thing about my brothers, they they're more they're kind of different. I mean, my oldest brother, he's an he's an artist. He paints, mm-hmm. so oh, he has okay. like a he has like a super like hippie mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Okay. He's like okay. he tries to stay young and like he doesn't want to get married. Oh. Right, 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 right. Stay solo. Okay. And second brother, he he's he's a little bit more of the business side. Uh huh. Mm. He, like he, okay, he was okay. a cook and then he he's like doing his own thing. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then, so he's the. It like to seeing seeing them both. It's kind of like it's interesting. You know mm-hmm. what I mean. So it's, I feed off like, I I feed off the energy from my oldest brother and my youngest brother. Okay, okay, like, okay. like mm-hmm. only the good things though. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I don't right. want to think too yeah. much about money and like. Hell yeah. All that stuff. So. I feel that. For yeah. sure, I feel for like sure. you know that that's a huge concern for for twenty for when you're in your twenties. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. right off the bat from high school, you go into college, and then in college. Mm-hmm. After that is all, you know, where am I going to go for my big boy job, my yeah. big girl right, job? Right, right, you know right. I mean? what, how am I going to support myself financially after that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and then these days, I mean, I've never like applied for a job. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what it's like. <laughs> but I just see like all these memes where it's like a job wants you to have like 10 years experience and like all this stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it's like you're, it's like you're like straight out of college. It's like, <laughs> Are you supposed to be interning since like elementary school or something? Like, <laughs> like, like, like I don't I don't know, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. When I don't know, when I was younger though, I thought like 
twenties, like everyone's like, oh, like they got their together, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. they know what they're doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro. And then I get to my twenties and I realize they no one's got their. Yeah, ain't nobody, no one around me. Everyone's in like their their quarter life crisis. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. no, I was I wondering. Was for, oh, sorry. No, no, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was wondering, if, like, for you guys, like, was your early twenties like how fast did it go through, go by? Oh, like real fast, slow right? as shit, bro. Uh, really? I was, I I was so stressing, bro. That that was like my because I was a trainee really late. Oh, ah, so right, my, right, right, yeah, right, my right. training okay, process okay, okay. was from 20 to 25. Ah. So my early to my half 20s, that shit was slow as oh, bro. Because I was stressing, okay. worried, anxious. Right, like, right, 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 right. Every negative thing you could ex- experience in life, I experienced in those, la- in those couple years in, mm-hmm. the, in that time span. So I was, right. I was tripping, bro. I was like, oh shit, I'm still a trainee. Like little kids are debuting at like 17. <laughs> yeah, dude. I feel you. Yeah, but you know, because of that, I'm here now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm I'm very appreciative because mm-hmm. you know, if you don't experience that that at some point, you're gonna experience it later on again. Eventually, you know? And yeah. when you do, it's it, you know, if it's your first time, it's gonna hit you that much harder. But yeah. if it's your second time, you're gonna be like, Psh, whatever. You know what yeah, I mean? I already yeah. handled this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh hello, friend. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. weird because like when I was <laughs> when I was when I was in high school, mm. like I always imagined what it'd be like to be like uh, a university kid, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, like a college kid. Yeah. Right, right. And then right. I became a college kid all of a sudden, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what it's what it'll be like to be, you know, graduated mm. and like have a job. Right, right. I'm already right. doing that, right. So I'm just like, where did the time go? Like for me, it was really fast. Yeah, right. yeah. For me too. Did your curiosity help in any way to graduate so fast? It's, yeah, I heard you graduated in three years. From oh college. yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. But that, <laughs> <laughs> was it your curiosity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 what what next? Yeah, what's after this? I need to yeah. study. No, no, no. No, because no, I, I, I took a, I took like the easy, not the easy route, but I like decided on music really <laughs> early. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, what, what, okay. How old were you when you started? You were in high school. So, yeah. So I was in high. So this is what happened. I, I. I graduated high school. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, I, and then I didn't know what to do. Okay. Uh-huh. And But then I love music. I love singing. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. like, you know what? And since my brothers are all doing their own thing, like what they like, mm-hmm. I'm just going to go with music and see what I can do. And then oh, I, I wanted so to become a vocal trainer. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh I, was, I, was, wow. I, I love singing, right? Right, uh-huh. right. And then um, the first year I go in, um, they're telling me to learn German, Italian. Oh, in school. In school. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait, did you go to school for music? Yeah. So like oh. it was a college. That, in that college, there's a program for music, right? Oh, okay, okay. So um, all those kids are all singing like, you know. Like, so, yeah, it's so, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. style. Really? Yeah. Okay. And, like training how to like sing with their like stomach stomachs and stuff. And stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like this isn't what I thought. And yeah. then… Well, obviously I, I had a little bit in mind of what it'd be like. Uh-huh. But mm. then like the language. Like you have to learn like… Yeah, new languages right. and all this and oh right it's probably like required it's right? required yeah, yeah. To graduate yeah you have to, like, and there's okay, like okay. a system like i I'm, I'm not really i'm not too sure like what it is but then there's like a system of like levels as well mm. like and you have to have a certain level to to go to this place for like post like for like uh masters or something like uh, that right? there's so levels to this there's shit. Level, yeah, there's level yeah there's levels to it yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, as yeah. in piano too there's like levels in piano certain right? criteria you yeah. have to follow okay and then okay. i realized Oh man, I don't think I can like I don't think I can do this. Like mm. it's it's not what I want. Mm. Like what I wanted to do is just sing, right? Mm. How'd then, you graduate in three years? No, then? no, no. no. Then, then this is what. Okay, okay. I'm gonna let you get this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can I ramble <laughs> on about my life like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fine. Uh, yeah, that's the point it's of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, at the point on like the verge of giving up, basically, uh-huh. um, there was a program that teaches you all these different types of like recording, like MIDI. Like how… Oh, like producing pretty How much? songs are made basically. Oh, okay, okay. And there was a program that was a three-year program. And then um, after the three years, you take another year um, overseas. Oh, okay. Ooh. So I'm like, okay. That sounds cool. I want to learn. And then as soon as I took that, like everything just opened up. Mm. So like the songs that I've been listening to, I understand now how oh. it's made. Because mm. wow. you always… You're curious, right? Like you get a… It's like you get a mic, you record. That's… Th- like the simplest thing you can right. think of, but then right, right. you get into the details how they mix, like what how songs are made, mm. and all mm. this, and like it just opened up everything. I'm like, you know what? I can do this. I, oh. I'm gonna try this. And then I just um, took like 
I was a server for a long ass time. Like a at server. a restaurant? Yeah. Oh, like, oh, like, oh, that, that's oh, how oh. you were From making your funds? From low end to high end. Uh-huh. Oh. But in Canada, like there's a, the tip is really good. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. So, Do they say sorry when they give you the tip? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. When they don't give you the tip? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse but, me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like the tip was really good. So I made money off that. And mm. I started buying my own equipment. Mm. Just left and right. Just buying my own equipment. Okay. Buying my own equipment. Getting, com- getting a computer. And then started making music. And I put it… Started putting it up on SoundCloud. Mm. Mm. Ah, you were a SoundCloud artist. Yeah. So SoundCloud was <laughs> big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then… Um, and then as soon as I put it up on SoundCloud, I realized… Oh, this is… This is like it. Mm. I want to do this for like life now. Mm. Yeah, when you were okay, seeing okay. the yeah, response yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So… And then that's when I decided… Well, there's a little bit of a uh, story between that. But that's when I decided I want to go to Korea and do this. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. nice. Oh. nice. Where did you go for your one year overseas? No, but I didn't go to the overseas. Oh, you didn't so I had a the, choice. Oh, okay, after, okay, you, okay. After, you, after you graduate for three years, you get to choose. Mm. And then oh, see, um, see, see. it was like in West London. Okay. Right? Oh, wow. But then do, I, I asked myself, do I want to go to West London and do a, a year? And you know, that's a lot of money too, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Cause, and, but then should I do that? Or should I just keep pursuing this? thing that I have with SoundCloud and like now I'm putting up on putting stuff on on right. Spotify. Like, yeah. Should I just do this? And then, you know, I thought about it for a while and I realized, you know what? I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna do this. And then mm. yeah. All right, I went all with right, it. All right. Yeah. Wow. So you were twenty three when you came out to Korea? Yeah, twenty two. Twenty two. But then Korean age twenty three, yeah. Your parents yeah. are still in Canada? Oh yeah. My whole family's in Canada. Were all they right, not right. like sad that you were leaving? Especially because oh, you're the bangne. You're the youngest. It was the worst youngest. day when I was leaving. Like… I… Oh, man. It was, it was, it was, it was tough. Everyone was crying? Everyone it was, was tough. Crying. Like Aww. not not everybody but… um, <laughs> Not everybody. <laughs> not everybody. <laughs> <Who> <laughs> my, <was> brother, <laughs> my brothers <laughs> were kind of like… My brothers were kind of like… Alright, let's see what you could do. You uh-huh. know like… Yeah, you're probably going to come back. It's kind of that kind of <laughs> thing. Oh, okay. There, yeah, but then my mom was like… Really taking it hard. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. right, 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 right. And it felt… For me, it felt like… I was all excited till like the last few days. I started mm. packing up and I realized… Man, I'm… Like there's nothing… Like I don't know what's there for me yet. Mm. Mm. But I'm packing all my stuff up and going to a, com- a country that I've never lived in. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I've, I've I've always lived with my parents my whole life. Mm. And then I'm moving out. But it's not like I'm a few blocks away. Yeah. I'm like 14 far hours away. away. Yeah. 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 Completely yeah. unfamiliar place. Yeah, yeah. That hit me when I was going to the airport. Mm. I'm like, oh man. Is this right? And then, oh, the airport? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty late. That was, <laughs> it's, it's late, man. <laughs> But that's when like it hits you the hardest. Yeah. Like, and then the last moments you have with your parents like before you say peace out to yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. that. I remember that time where like I was driving to the airport. And then I looked at the back… You know the back mirror. Yeah. yeah and then yeah, I yeah. see like my parents just like looking at my car drive away. Uh-huh. And it's like… <laughs> damn like it's kind of scary. I don't know if I can do this. And mm. then I'm like you know what? Let's go. And then… I was like bawling on the whole plane ride. Well half of the plane ride. Oh really? On the way yeah, here. Yeah that's… I would have… Yeah I would have done the same. It, yeah. it hit me like… I think like… The night or like two nights before… I had to fly out. Uh-huh. And I was like… Am I making a mistake? <laughs> I like, Should I cancel yeah, everything, everything right now? And then like… It felt like it was like… The last time I was going to see my parents. Mm-hmm. But um… How long did it take out? you guys to like settle in? In Korea? Yeah. Like legit uh, settle in. Like oh this is this is where I like this is where I live now. So I also came to Korea when as like three months before I turned twenty one mm-hmm. international age. So that's when I started my trainee life. So I feel like the first like the first half of my twenties went by so quickly because it was just mm. about trying to survive in the trainee world, like in the right, company right. and debut. Mm. And when also when you're preparing to debut and even after you debut, you just live such a crazy, hectic life yeah. and you don't have um, time for personal your personal life. It's just mm. work, work, work. True. Even right, right, when right, you're right. a trainee, um, maybe Matthew's a little different, but <laughs> they're really strict, <laughs> and you know, so you don't have you can't you don't really have friends. Um, you don't really go out. So I I kind of had no life in my twenties. Yeah. You were strict on, on yourself. Yeah, even shots? after debut. <laughs> Why happened? did you look at him like that before yeah. you said that? You're yeah. like you, you know, and then um. Maybe it was different for Matthew. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly what. What is that? I know, exactly I what? Know let, me what you, hey, let me tell you. Hey, let me tell you guys okay, how okay, Ashley okay. spent her twenties. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, so she's a leader of her group, right? 
she made sure herself and her groups. What time was it? Like 10 9? p.m. Like 10 p.m. Yeah. Everyone had to be home at 10 p.m. Or else yeah. she got like. All right. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> she no. made the rule. She was regulating. She made the bro. rule. I thought wow. it was a company. Was no, the I company it was the gave company. us the oh, rule. Okay. Okay. Well, didn't the company yeah, say eleven the... and you made it ten? No. Why no? would I do that? <laughs> no, I think they said like twelve and she made it. No. 12. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. No, but. That was like the first like year or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah the first year. The first yeah. like two years. The first then, like five years, no? <laughs> no, and then the… You like no, leave no, it on she, yourself she, now. She made it the other three years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what was crazy? The huh. delivery was crazy. For oh, me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so everything nice. so convenient out here. <sighs> Man. I remember the first time McDonald's delivered. I was like… Hold on, sir. May I please take a picture of you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gotta brag to my friends back in America. Legit? Uh, yeah. Oh my I god. I took a picture of him and I sent it to him. I was like, yo, they <laughs> got <laughs> McDonald's is delivering. <laughs> America That's gotta crazy. step up their game. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. I think they got like DoorDash now. Yeah, I yeah. mean, no, America has stepped up their uh, delivery service they're now. Stepping. But Even Canada, yeah, they're stepping up. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, mm. but it's still uh, nothing compared to Korea still. Yeah, huh. I feel like we're going off topic. Yeah, we're going yeah. into like cultural differences. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, yes. Anyways, 20s. Yeah, so I feel like I didn't get to experience too much compared to my friends who are living the more normal lives. Right, right, um, right. But I mean, I, I guess there are things that I experienced too that they never got to experience. Of course. yeah. But at the same time, I feel like I wish I could have given myself some more leniency when it came to making more memories and doing more spontaneous things because I was so strict on myself and I was also in a long distance relationship mm. um, for a very oh, long time. Oh, the tea. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> for a very long time. And it's not like I regret it because it did do… It did… Um, I guess do me a lot of good too, but like half of me is like think a long time about that. Half of me is like I wish I spent my twenties dating someone who was physically here. So Mm. I don't know. Mm. I feel like we could have done more things and like explored or made more Mm. memories. Yeah, yeah. Um. So that's like because my mom always said like you should meet as many as people as possible. Like you should have a lot of dating experience because she didn't and she had a lot of regrets. Um. So she told me. Yeah. She told me… <laughs> no, that's actually a thing. Yeah. That's actually a thing, yeah. Yeah. She told me, yeah, she never liked me dating one person for a long time because she was like, right, you're probably right. not even going to get married. Why are you investing so much time and energy into this person? But mm. I don't know. I, I it, That wasn't for me. Like dating different people. I just like to pour myself out to one person. And I guess that just happened for too long. Especially mm. long distance. So… Yeah. I wish I got more dating experience when I was younger. I feel like maybe the long distance relationship like made you make the 10 p.m. I think so too because I think I was bitter. I was like, you know what? My boyfriend's not even here. I need to go home early. So you have to come home early too. (laughs) Maybe I was like No one's getting action. (laughs) (laughs) If I can't get it, don't you get it. (laughs) No, but I confronted my members a little later. And I was like, you know what? I think I was really strict on you guys. I'm so sorry. A little. Maybe I was… You know, I was too strict. And I didn't give you guys freedom. I know you guys needed to de-stress too. But I was just… An old you were tag. taking the stress out on them. <laughs> and, no, they were actually like, no, I think because you were strict on us, we didn't um, make bad choices. Yeah, we didn't make bad choices. Mm-hmm. I was like, or they nice. became more clever. They're like, how do we sneak out today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, 20s though, uh, usually there's a quarter life crisis. I think you said you experienced it last yeah, time, heavy. right? Heavy. Because you said you became like a trainee late and then you were kind of right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has uh, anyone else experienced it? Have you guys, I mean, are you experiencing it now? I feel like you're around. No, you're like, like 25. Like Junie seems like he's in a good place. Right? Are but you in yeah, a good place right now? Like you don't seem like you have a crisis place? right I mean, now. Yes. Yeah. Dive Studio is a very good place. Yeah. I love, I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> I think… Yeah. But I, it hasn't really hit me yet. But then I kind of get what it what it would feel like. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. But then like… What you guys have went through… Like I have no idea. What mm, that's right, right. Like the whole all. idol training yeah, process. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. And everything. But then for me, like coming to Korea and then um, especially because I do my own music and mm. then I, I do other people's songs too. Mm-hmm. Mm, right. So that takes a lot of time. Right. So because of that, I don't get sleep. Mm. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay. So it's like… I thought you were going to say because of that, I don't have a midlife crisis. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got time for a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> so like when she was talking about health, 
Like I kind of… I kind of get it. Like, okay. Mm. I thought that I was a pretty healthy dude like mm-hmm. when I was in Canada. And then mm-hmm. I, as soon as I came to Korea… And then like a year passed… Like my health just went like… <gasps> oh gosh. But I think that's because… Partially because I wasn't living in like a proper home in the first year. Like oh. I was struggling well, man. Because like, I didn't know… I didn't have anyone. Right? Right, 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 right. So right, I came right, here right. like with nothing. Uh-huh. Okay, so, so, okay. I, so with the budget I had was from one song I sold. Yeah. Okay. Mm. One song. Right. Okay. And then I don't get I didn't get any royalties from it. It wasn't a constant pay. It was uh-huh. like one paycheck. Oh, okay. It was a buyout. Mm. Right, 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 right. So with that money, I just came to Korea. So I had to live off that, right? <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to like survive. I'm trying mm-hmm. to like eat with like, you know, penny jump food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I yeah. I was living in like a really small studio, uh-huh. like a mm. studio space. Uh-huh. It's not like a home. Like you don't… You can't call it a home. It's yeah. just like a studio There's space. There's no kitchen? No, 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 no. It's like a sharing kitchen. Because like for everyone oh. who uses the studio. Did you live in a koshi one? It was kind of like that. I lived like in a koshi one. It was too. small bro. <laughs> you were like yeah. this sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. probably know what that's like. That your health just goes it's down. Bad. Yeah. No sunlight comes in. Yeah. Like no my, sunlight? When I lay down, my feet… The, the bottom of my feet… Touch the, the, Yo, the wall. Yo, that's it. Yeah. And so does my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you are very tall yeah. though. But yeah, I mean, like still. that's pretty small for the average yeah, person too. Yeah, like not right. having that much space. Mm. Dang. So like you I have can to like sleep on yeah. your side. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I can talk about it like really freely now. Yeah. Because I'm I'm a, I'm in a much better place. But mm-hmm. then during that time, it was really tough. And then my health w- dropped. And then I felt I felt it like oh mm. I gotta like really take care of myself here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and, and yeah. a lot of thoughts come into your mind when you're thinking about that, right? Yeah, a lot of thoughts, and then and then and you realize, damn, I miss like the food back home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. My mom was food. the best, yo, know, like, yeah. yo. And then For I start, sure. I start having a home now. I'm starting like take care of my home. I clean up, and I'm like, damn, my mom is. Yeah, she's yeah. amazing, right? And then <laughs> learning how to pay your own bills. Exactly. You know, all like, of that. that is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just yeah. start yeah. respecting your parents like that. So, yeah, that's uh, what's happening. Well, we'll go um, Korean variety show real quick. Video message to your parents. Oh man. <laughs> 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 pay, um, pay, do pay really to Yes, do it. Should I speak in Korean? Uh, you don't have to if you do don't you want to. You speak in Korean with your parents? Yeah, they they they're not really good at English. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever yeah. you feel comfortable oh. with. If you're uncomfortable, you don't have to do it. Uh, no, nah, just a little message. All right, yeah, all right, yeah. You can you make go. it short, oh, long, okay. whatever you want. Uh, you want us oh. to leave the room? No, <laughs> no. Okay. I, I I want you guys here like doing the background music. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, <laughs> 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 mom, uh, uh, 너무 많이 보고 싶고요. 어, 잘 지내고 있으니까 걱정하지 마시고 이렇게 좋은 어, 다이브 스튜디오에 와갖고 이런 재미있는 팟캐스트를 하고 있으니까 어, 이제 영상이 올라오면 봐주시고 어, 사랑합니다. 감사해요. Alright. Short but to the point. Nice. Nice. 가능하시면 oh, sweet. Short and 별 다섯 개 주시면 <웃음> 감사하겠습니다. <웃음> Five star review. Yeah, Five 데, star 댓글도 review. 댓글도 좋은 댓글 써주시면 <웃음> 어, 감사하겠습니다. So, thank you mm-hmm. for your uh, short and sweet oh, video. You're so now, <laughs> we're going to be uh, getting some mail oh. from questions related to our topic on our Discord. Oh. All right. All right. Ooh. Let's see if we can offer any insight. This is from Anna's World. All right. Someone once said that people in Hollywood who became known, famous, are often stuck at the age they became famous. Mm. Do you think some Korean artists are stuck at the age they became trainees? Greetings from Germany. Ooh, wow. I don't think they become stuck in the trainee years, but I think they become stuck in the debut phase where they got famous. Yeah, because yeah. oh, if you think famous. about like artists from '90s, they're mm. kind of still stuck on that style, and this mm-hmm. like whether it's like in terms of outfits, like styling, music, music. and choreography mm-hmm. that they did back in the '90s. Right, and they still right. pursue and do music like that. So yeah. I feel like with that stuff, they they are kind of stuck in that yeah, era. Yeah, maybe, Definitely. yeah. Huh. Sure. Yeah, I think you said it right there. Because I mean like even me, I'm not like one of the young cats out here, you know, mm-hmm. in, in, mm-hmm. in the idol industry. Yeah. So like sometimes even I'll catch myself and be like… Nah, that's whack. You should do it like this. But then I'll think like… Oh wait, no. That's like what's the new like trend and what's dope. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Okay, I see you. I see you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I should try that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna… Oh, let me write that down. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll catch <laughs> myself. So like… Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, lately too. Damn. Does that mean I'm turning into like a boomer or something? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Shoot. No, yeah. no, no. But uh, yeah. I'll catch myself sometimes. But I agree with you 100%. Mm. Yeah, but don't maybe, you ever yeah. realize like, you know, like what you said… Um, we see like we see artists from way back mm-hmm. 90s and they're still mm-hmm. stuck there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. do you, don't you think that we'll be the same as well later on? No. Uh, okay. That's probably I mean, like, what the 90s so artists think like, too. Like, but, I, uh, I, I thought the same. Uh-huh. But then I always have this conversation with my friends I make music with. But then… Um, let's say in turn like let's say just hip hop in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like in Korean hip hop. Okay. Yeah. If you guys, are you guys familiar with Korean, Korean hip hop? Hell yeah. Yeah right? Not really. Oh, not really. <laughs> a little bit. A okay, little so bit, a little bit. Um, this is what we we were talking about. Like, mm-hmm. let's say, uh, when I was in high school, mm-hmm. uh-huh. like Benzino was the. Oh sh- hell yeah! yeah. Uh-huh. He was he was like the dopest. Like, yeah, yeah, right. And everyone loved him. And he then, this, sh- he was the he still is right. And then <laughs> yeah. he was making the like the trendiest hip hop music. Mm-hmm. Yup. Nowadays, if you catch like if you get like a like a high school kid in Korea now, mm-hmm. do you think he'll like? Do you think he'll think the same way? No, right? Like he asks him who's dope. Yeah, yeah and yeah, he'll yeah. he'll have his own opinion. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Definitely. But then for for us, it's like we don't understand it anymore. Yeah, like we see we see that artist being like we see that artist being like loved and like appreciated yeah. by young kids. Mm-hmm. But then we're like, oh, but this guy's better. Mm. But then. We we saw that already from the people that were older. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so like when your mind is a little bit more, um, I want to say like easily influenced. Yeah. 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 And when that hits you, like, oh man, that's dope. I want to be like that guy. Yeah. When it hits you once, that's gonna stay. Stay forever. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean, like Biggie and Pac. Those were the times when I was just like, oh my gosh, these guys are so dope. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 like. Like you were saying, like if I have a conversation with a high school student right now, I'll ask him like, "Yo, who's popping nowadays?" You know, obviously it'll be Juice World, you know, mm-hmm. the Kid Leroy, um, whoever's popping mm-hmm. nowadays. And I'll be like, "Dang, you know Pac?" And if they don't know Pac, it's just like, "You don't know Pac?" Yeah, for right. Me. But yeah, for yeah. Them, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Who is you that? Old. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know Basically, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think yeah. it's like that. I mean. All you young cats, you're gonna experience this when you're 32. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that like especially the music industry, it's moving at such a fast pace. Yeah, dude, so fast. You never know where it's gonna go. Like, I don't know who's gonna be the next. Like, we don't know anymore, right? right? right. So it's like it's hard to catch up. I feel like especially for hip hop, because there was that like little spike of like the SoundCloud rapper era. Oh Mm -hmm. yeah, but then I feel like that died super quick. It did, Mm -hmm. and then now it's just like show me the money and high school rapper. Era. In Korea. Korea, yeah. Korea, Korea yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then who knows? There's probably going to be like a new like audition program or something soon. And yeah. then… Right. That's going to be the new… Yeah. Like trend to find hip hop music. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know. What was the topic mm. again? Um, oh yes. Um, <laughs> do oh, do dude, artists yeah. stay like… Oh right, right, right. Yeah, right, where, yeah, yeah. Where, where they become famous. Mm-hmm. So yes and no. I think it all depends on your mindset. Like mm-hmm. where you are. Like if you… You know, because I still mess with some of the new people too, though. Like, yeah. You know, I, I still yeah. listen to a lot of the new sure. guys. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, damn, this guy's sick. Like, I like his vibe and everything. But mm-hmm. there are there are people that are just like, that's why the guys I used to like are better. You know right. what I mean? So it's yeah. all mindset, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even yeah. artists too. Even though they know that they were famous back then for a certain style, if they're always like evolving and trying to change, they will keep up with like the latest trends yeah. and try out the newer stuff. But I think if they're just like kind of stuck in that era and they yeah. think that era was the best and that was the best version of them, then I think they'll kind of just stay there and yeah. try yeah, to yeah, yeah. keep doing that style. Exactly. Yeah. I feel. I feel like. Another reason they do that though is because it's like trends keep like they recycle, coming you know, back, uh-huh. and they keep coming back. So then mm. they're probably like, "This will come back eventually." <laughs> they're just waiting <laughs> like, for the day. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like they just keep trying. Like yeah. even like with fashion, like the way they dress, you know, oh, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they're Absolutely. like, they don't mm-hmm. like it now, but they're gonna like it in five years. Yeah, like yeah. you know, it's a uh, maybe. That's why I'm not sure. Yeah, that could definitely be a reason. It could be. Mm. I don't know. This one, the next one is from user Sirius.e. You want to read it? Sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Sirius.e. As I've gotten into my 20s, I've become more and more closed off. I really, dis- I really dislike telling my close friends anything personal. I can't express how I feel about the things that are really affecting my life because it makes me feel vulnerable. 
Okay. I'm worried they might not want to continue our friendship if I never open up to them. How do I know if I can put my, put my trust in somebody and how can I feel better about expressing myself? Love you guys. Hmm. That's mm. a hard question. Is a- I feel like in your 20s, it's more… I don't know. Um, like in high school, you deal with so much drama. Like that's what I was… That's what I felt. Mm. Mm-hmm. In, in high school, every high school is the world to you. Mm-hmm. Sure. Every little thing is like the biggest thing, right? Like it it, yeah. it, it, it hurts you a lot. And then since you feel that hurt for, for like four years, right? High school. Mm-hmm. You get into that 20s life. And then you're just used to being closed off. Mm-hmm. I think it's just you're like automatically like… You know what? I think I gotta like close myself off and just kind of… This is how I'm supposed to live. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then… I don't know. Um, it's… I felt… Being in Korea like alone and then, and then eventually making friends. Mm-hmm. And then having really close friends that I can share my thoughts with. Mm-hmm. It's so good to like… Just conversate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like express anything, yourself. Express anything. Right? Whatever you're concerned of. And it's, it's always good to talk to someone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think for this user, I think she, she, he or she, uh, like you were saying, this could be an instance where she's just been conditioning her mind in high school yeah. or just in her previous life before her 20s to just be closed off. Mm-hmm. Maybe he or she has been hurt by someone. But, you know, at the end of the day, like you're saying, yeah, opening up, um, you, if you show vulnerability to someone, it, it could either go one or two ways. But the normal person will kind of take that and be like, "Oh, she's being real with me right yeah. now. She's she's mm. you know show, he or she is showing yeah. me a side that's like that's real and mm-hmm. you know that kind of um, can make space for a relationship where you become much closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to develop. Yeah, and if they're already your friends, they're not gonna. I don't. I. I. You know, there are. There are even me. Sometimes I. I'll have that. Those times where I'm just like, dang, can he use this against me? Like, you know, like we're, <laughs> we're not friends, but just like you know, right, acquainted right, right. people. Mm-hmm. But you know, if they're friends, if they're close people, I mean, you obviously got to be ready to open up. But you know, taking this is a risk too. But I feel like mm. at the end of the day, if it's you being sincere about how you feel and whatnot, that then you know, only mm. good can come out of that. Yeah. And I think like the people that this person considers her uh, close friends, if she starts by opening about opening up about not being able to open up. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, right, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure her friends will understand and you know, I'm sure they can help um you, you open slowly up. open up to them. Yep. You don't have to like open like you know, it doesn't have to be like Pandora's box where you just <laughs> and everything like comes out. Yeah. I think, <laughs> like, yeah, I think it's like, yeah, just honest. one step at a time. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first try, is yeah, like the first attempt is the most hardest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, once, yeah, yeah. once you get through that, it just gets easier from there. Mm. Be honest and be like, yeah, I actually have a hard time opening up. So you know, it's like, just I'm not trying to like distance myself from you guys. Um, it's just my personality. Mm-hmm. So you know, mm-hmm. just. Ask them to kind of be like, it might be annoying, but please put up with it. Help me ex- like start expressing myself. Yeah. And then, yeah, sometimes when you start expressing yourself, the friendships become that much deeper. Mm. So, yeah. How you know if you can trust someone? You never know until yeah. you know. You never yeah. know. That's you never life. know. Um, I feel like if you got good like intuition, then maybe sometimes you could kind of feel like feel the vibe like, you know, but most of the time, you don't really know. You don't yeah. know. Don't know. No, that's that's <laughs> real sh- That's your 20s. That is you don't your 20s. Know you don't know. You know. I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right. Anyways, time to wrap up this show. Thank you, uh, Junie, once again for coming on to our show. Yes, sir. How was it? It was amazing. You guys are… You guys are just fun people, man. <laughs> Look at that. He's opening up to us. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it, was, it was really hard to say this, but… <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Uh, thank you once again for coming out. Um, to our listeners, if you wish to stay updated on the show, Instagram and Twitter, 
uh, at the Diet Studios. Follow us there and full episodes will be up on YouTube at youtube.com slash divepods. And while we are talking about social media, what is your social media handle? Uh, uh, Instagram, it's um, at JNKMSC. If you just search Juni, it'll pop up probably. So. All right. Juni in English so, or Korean? Uh, in English. It's J-U-N-N-Y. Yes. All right. So J-U-N-N-Y. if you search that up. And just in case, one more time. Instagram. Uh, J-U-N-N-Y. If you search that up. And the handle is J-N-K-M-S-C. Yo. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay. Once again, everyone, uh, subscribe to and review this podcast. Good reviews only. Five stars only. And yeah. yes, thank you everyone for listening and goodbye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Last, oh, wait, 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 wait. Definitely wait. Not, not least, what? if you haven't caught the dive. <laughs> oh, sweater, yeah. And the pants. <laughs> and the pants. A100 quality you need a cop. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm about to do this it's right nice. after this. He how wore many, it four days in a row. How many days you've been in? Oh, okay. okay four days in a row. I was going to yeah, ask yeah, him, yeah. but you just put him on blast. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even wash mine yet, but four days in a row. Four already. days in a row. Right, These are mad right. comfortable. All right, peace. All right, peace. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Bye.